One million people could be taken out of low pay by 2020, according to a commission chaired by the Archbishop of York. It recommends a series of low-cost moves to tackle poverty. Our political editor, Sue Jameson, is at Westminster. Good morning, Sue. And this is all about extending the so-called living wage. Yes, which is different, of course, from the minimum wage, which is set by the government. But the Commission, which is independent, says it wouldn't cost a great deal to raise that and that the government should actually start with all those employed in the public service. It says it's very important to do it now because, for the first time, the majority of those in poverty are actually working but still can't make ends meet. And, of course, the political argument over this is going to be whether the government and, indeed, businesses could afford to do it. Even paying for the basics is now a struggle for up to 5 million people, and that's a national scandal, says the report. Currently, the minimum wage for workers over 21 is £6.31 an hour. The Living Wage Commission wants to see that amount raised to 7 65 an hour to reflect the true cost of living. To allow for higher prices in the capital, some workers in London are paid 8 80 an hour, but not Nia and Stefan. They work at a cinema and have gone on strike over the issue. Adds to paying bills. It makes the difference between having three jobs and two jobs. We have uh, colleagues who just got a, a kid or a second kid, and they're the ones who are really struggling. They're the ones who have to pick up extra shifts. The cinema says it pays some of the highest rates in the business. Unions say they're fully behind the campaign. The Archbishop's Commission says employers shouldn't be forced to pay the living wage, but those who can afford it will see fewer staff leaving and increased productivity. Sue Jameson, Good Morning Britain.